One of the plate boundaries that occurs during plate tectonics is called a rift zone. And in a rift zone, if we think about the motion of the mantle and the convection currents taking place, uh, our convection current would, uh, on one side, be clockwise and on the other side counterclockwise so that underneath the plate we have mantle motion on one side moving in one direction and on the other side moving in the opposite direction. And this motion is going to cause the plates to move apart. So our two crustal plates are going to get pulled in opposite directions and the result is it's going to create a rift between those two plates. Now also notice that in our uh, motion of the magma, the magma is rising up in between those two plates and that is going to rise and fill this gap in between the two plates. And when it cools and hardens, you get new rock. So the youngest rocks on the surface of the earth are found at the point of a rift valley where new rock is being formed. As you move further away from that rift, you're heading towards older rocks. Uh, those are rocks that had formed longer ago and over time have gotten carried further and further apart. Another feature we see is that depending upon when the rock formed, uh, it will take on the orientation of Earth's magnetic field. Our Earth's magnetic field currently, uh, North, Earth's north geographic pole is actually a south uh, magnetic pole. That's our current orientation. So the rocks currently forming would have south magnetic pole facing north. But Earth's magnetic field undergoes uh, shifts, it flips periodically. And so if we look at rocks that formed uh, many thousands of years ago, we would find that the south magnetic pole points in the opposite direction. And if we go back even further in time to rocks formed even longer ago, it would be back to the current orientation, and so on. So we see a pattern where this kind of zone occurs of this alternating magnetic orientation. Now most of the time rift zones are found um, in the oceans. It is not exclusively in the oceans, uh, but the most famous of the rift zones is in the Atlantic Ocean and it's called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and this motion is actually carrying North America uh, away from Europe and South America away from Africa at a rate of a couple centimeters per year. So the Atlantic Ocean is getting bigger as a result of being a rift zone.